The Fighter Collection is housed at the famous wartime airfield at Duxford in Cambridgeshire and boasts a fine lineup of World War II warbirds. Stephen Gray tells us about the hurricane that is one of the collection's most prized possessions. This is a um, Hurricane 2C, or if you're a Canadian, a Mark 12. The Canadian Car and Foundry Company was given a license during the war to build Hurricane. And um, this particular airframe was built in Canada. And so it's technically a Mark 12. The only differences that they had were some elements of implementation, and they fitted a very simple American-style propeller called the Hamilton Standard to it. So if you had a 2C, you had a doughty rotol propeller, or a rotol propeller, as it was called at the time, which had wooden blades and a different mechanism for moving those blades around in constant speed terms. And this is a Hamilton standard propeller, which has metal blades and a totally different system for moving the blades around. Other than that, the airplanes were identical. And this particular airplane was part of a 12 airplane, um, so-called Dominion Disposal. It was an auction. And uh, basically, some farmers bought the airplanes in order to get the pumps off them and the engines off them and bits of tin off them and the hardware out of them. And they use them around the farm. And they just get rid of the rest. Four chaps in Regina, Saskatchewan, who were Hurricane fans, actually in the 60s, said, well, let's go and trace the farmers who had these airplanes. And they found that there were two or three airframes still left. And so this particular airframe was recovered from a farm in Saskatchewan. And the four chaps started out seeking to restore it. And like four starry-eyed young chaps, they became a bit older and they got married. And you know, one's wife wasn't happy with him spending his evenings playing with hurricanes. And another one wasn't happy that he was spending money on hurricanes. And, I kept track of these chaps and said, if you ever fall out in entirety and want the thing to go to a good home and you want it to fly, then let me know. And they did that, and I got an export license from the Canadian government and brought it to England and put a team together and we started restoring it. It took six years, and it's now been flying about seven or eight. <laughs>